Australia is a democratic country and most Australians grow up thinking we have a right to free speech. Kids start using the phrase from primary school age, mostly to defend their experimental use of naughty words. You can't tell me to go to my room, I have a right to freedom of speech. But is that really true? In America, the US Constitution includes a Bill of Rights that explicitly protects freedom of speech. The First Amendment states, Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. Perhaps Aussie kids got the idea from watching American TV shows that we also have a right to freedom of speech. But Australian law is quite different. Do we have a right to free speech in Australia? The simple answer is no. Australia has no Bill of Rights and no explicit right to freedom of speech in our Constitution. The High Court has recognised that our Constitution implies a right to free speech when we're talking about political matters. In two important cases in the 90s, the High Court of Australia noted that our Constitution requires the government to be elected by its people. Therefore, in order to make informed electoral choices and for Australian democracy to function, those people need to be able to freely discuss their thoughts and opinions on politicians, policies and parties. The High Court later narrowed this implied right in the case of Lang. The implied freedom simply works to prevent the government from making laws that would threaten political communication. So any law that takes away that freedom would be unconstitutional. What the court in sort of a series of cases developed um, an implied freedom and they looked at the system of government that the constitution sets up and they saw that the constitution sets up a democratically elected House of Representatives and a Senate. They saw that the Constitution sets up a system of amendment for the Constitution, which requires a referendum, so for the people to go and vote. Um, and the Constitution also sets up a system whereby the government sits in the Houses of Parliament and must answer questions and be what we call responsible to the Parliament. So the court looked at all of these structures and thought, you know, in order to make these structures work, there needs to be a freedom to talk about political matters. There are some protections of free speech under international law. Article 19 of the UN's International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights states that everyone shall have the right to freedom of expression. However, while the convention provides guidance to our government, it's not technically binding law unless Australia adopts the provisions into our own domestic law which we haven't done. There are also a number of laws that prohibit some types of speech and could be seen as interfering with free speech. These include criminal laws, secrecy laws, contempt laws, anti-discrimination laws, media and telecommunication laws, information laws, intellectual property laws. Anti-discrimination laws do protect people from discrimination, but they also restrict free speech by making it unlawful to say things that could offend, intimidate or harass people based on things like race, age, gender or disability. In other words, we have a freedom of expression, but not a freedom to offend. Australian law and, and frankly in international law, um, human rights sometimes come into tension with each other. So my right to do one thing sometimes rubs up against your right um, to be protected from, from something. Um, and that's really important then that we try and find the right balance between those two things. If one person's free speech extends beyond just participating in public life and debate and goes into making not just insults but really serious harmful insults on the basis of a person's race, that is the point where the law steps in. And it does because it's focusing on the harm experienced by that other person. In the absence of a Bill of Rights, Australians' right to free speech is limited and precarious. If you can say that we have a right at all, there are many exceptions to the implied right. And kids, there's even a law that can make you a criminal for swearing. What we can take away from all this is that the unanimous decision in the High Court provided some certainty to free political communication in Australia. However, in the absence of a Bill of Rights, the Australian Government can pass new laws that override that implied freedom. So, depending which way you look at it, Australians' right to free speech either relies on or is at the mercy of our Government. <laughs>